Welcome to Cinemagna. In today's video, we will showcase the red carpet launch event of the 2021 American TV miniseries titled Hawkeye. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos are released. Hawkeye is an upcoming American television miniseries based on the Marvel Comics characters Clint Barton and Kate Bishop, both from Hawkeye, produced by Jonathan Igla for the streaming service Disney+. It is set to be the fifth television series in the Marvel Cinematic Universe created by Marvel Studios, following the events of Avengers, Endgame and sharing continuity with the films in the franchise. Igla is the head writer, and Reese Thomas is in charge of the directing team. Without much further ado, please enjoy the red carpet launch event video, And it just feels good, man. Feels good. I can't wait to uh, share this with people and get to uh, watch it myself with my family and uh, celebrate uh, this holiday season, man. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. That's it's kind of a big part of. I, I think we'll learn in this series what Hawkeye's superpowers really are, and it's his heart and his tenacity, and it comes from family, and uh, this celebrates that that uh, relatability of, of, his, of his character, and I, I love it, man. Can't wait. Oh my God, this is, this is incredible. This never gets old. I mean, this feels so special just to be able to be with this incredible group of people and celebrate what we've, what we've created. I just cannot wait for fans to see it. It is such an honor. Uh, I mean, even that feels like an understatement, but I am so incredibly grateful. I feel so lucky um, to have everyone at Marvel uh, uh, believe in me, at least enough to play the role of Kate Bishop, and uh, that's that means a great deal to me. Oh, it's such a thrill. It's so festive, which is very exciting. I love kicking up the holiday seasons with all of the Christmas trees, you know, reflecting the show, of course, and to be on the red carpet. It's just nice, you know, after, after some tough years. Like, it's just so refreshing and exciting to get to see everybody again and to be here. Yeah. <laughs> It's thrilling. It's, it's, it's so exciting to see that there is excitement for the show. Um, I'm, I love the fact that Clint finally gets to have a, you know, his moment because you know he's been in all of these Marvel films, but we haven't really gotten to dive into his story. And he's just he's one of the most relatable ones, I think, because he is just a person. 
and he doesn't have superpowers and he doesn't have an extensive spy training background, you know? And, and so it's great to see this kind of family guy who is a superhero who is one of the people. And, and I think there's gonna be, and it's a lot of fun within the show because there are other characters that I think are very relatable in that sense as well. It's so exciting. It's so exciting to be able to sit in, in the El Capitan, to be here in Hollywood, and to share this experience with all the people that made this project come to life, to be in the Marvel world with all of the Marvel people, um, here as a team, and the excitement and the festivity of it all. It's wonderful, it's so wonderful. Oh my gosh, it is so fun. I love the fans because they're finding little things that I didn't even realize. Maybe they're catching things. I'm like, oh, if I see this on Twitter, I'm looking at it. And it's fascinating because some of the Twitter fans are just crazy with the specifics and everything. So, but I just absolutely love the fans. You know, they're great. Being a part of the MCU is just something that, you know, you, you always think about as a kid and that that's, makes it very exciting. And then the team that was all a part of it, Disney being a part of it with Marvel. I mean, it's a dream come true. I think there's going to be so many revelations during in, in this show and, and the fans are going to be, a, there's a lot of aha moments and that's going to be exciting for people to, to especially on social media, of how they're going to come out after each episode and really um, take to what Reese and, and uh, Burton Bernie built, the directors and what Disney built of, of what this show is about in the six episodes. I, I, I'm really excited about it. Well, it's, uh, it's like a big family reunion. We spent so much time in Atlanta in lockdown not seeing anyone else. So coming here and seeing these faces and seeing the bottom halves of all these people's faces is, is quite spectacular, so it's lovely. Well, I think we, so we finished color grading last week only. So we, we got to see everything again and see all the effects in and see it all come together. Um, and so this is, this is just the lovely cherry on the top, just to be able to see everyone, relax, you know, watch the films. Um, it's going to be amazing just to feel it with the audience. It's so great. And, and I think also just the, the approach to the, the Christmas is such a surprise in this story. You know, and it's kind of almost the absurdity of Christmas because everything that happens is not to do with Christmas other than trying to get home to family. But just to kind of celebrate that and kind of, I mean, we shot it just before Christmas last year. So everything was, was starting to get Christmassy and so it really felt like it. But, um, but I think it just brings something to this, another layer to the story that, you know, we all love films that are set at Christmas and we all have those films that we reference and hopefully Hawkeye will become one of those. I mean, that, that's wonderful because the, the tone is so special. I know that it's, it's almost like all of the best comedy from Marvel came together in one TV show, that's Hawkeye but it does have this ebb and flow of the comedy and then there's like these really deep emotional and very human moments. So I think you feel that when you're watching it in a theater with people that you don't feel when you're just watching it at home. So that's gonna be really special for us, yeah. It really is uh, something different because there is a, a palpable sense of, of people's connection to this material how they feel about it and the history they have with it and the emotional connection they have because these these aren't just shows they're, they're they kind of run deeper than that which i have come to really appreciate and uh and and when you get people out here who are are soaking it up kind of like we are it uh, it makes it it makes it nice because you get that sense of community well it's uh i love that it's set in the holidays and i love this kind of um uh, irreverent spirit that that it has and it brings you have adventure and you you've got all the things you want with a with a Marvel um, story but you have this great connection between uh, Jeremy and Haley's characters that are that is is so fun and funny and and really drives it forward in a great way and all wrapped up in a, in a Christmas bow who could who could ask for anything more oh man it's amazing i'm so glad to be a part of it just as a fan of the marvel universe and now i'm here like yes yeah, amazing it made it real i wasn't sure it was real but now you officially see it and marvel fans are just huge from the comic books that you grow up on to the movies that they make now and they really don't let you down so i'm just glad to be here and it's just in time for thanksgiving when you're going to be around most of your family you can watch it with your family and who doesn't love those shows that you know, you watch as a family and everybody remembers. And hopefully it becomes a tradition. You know, like, uh, what's the show they always show? Uh, on TBS, A Christmas Story or A Wonderful Life. Hawkeye's the new, uh, yeah, Hawkeye's the new is A Wonderful Life. I'm calling it now. 
I'm extremely well. This is just the most exciting thing ever. It really is. Like, I'm one of the first people in line to see to see these movies, and to to be here uh, launching Hawkeye, which I went, I left home for six months to go and shoot, is just the most incredible thing. Um, it really is. Big time. Like I like I said, I I am one of these fans. Whenever I had my last Zoom audition with Reese Thomas, our, our director, I was almost tempted to answer the Zoom in a Spider-Man onesie, just to show how much I'm really into this, but I was worried that that would be a bit too much, you know. Like, so I am one of the fans, and I think this show in particular is gonna be such a gorgeous relief from what has been very, very intense sort of Marvel stories recently, and you know, like Clint Barton is the family man. He's the, he's the only one that's not actually super, in terms of you know power element, so he's he's the most relatable in many ways, and I think Christmas in many ways was cancelled last year. I think everyone was so on board with having a good Christmas this year, and to share this story along the way is going to be really really special. Well, this is what I'm so excited about because I haven't actually seen all of it. I haven't. I've only seen the tiny little bits that I've been in that I needed to do a little bit of work on. So to to share it with the fans, and this this world, this universe wouldn't work without the fans. You know, it must be the most loyal troop in in the history of anything ever. Uh, so to share it with them tonight is going to be really, really cool, really cool. It's uh, it's exciting. It's it's been a long time coming. It, it's a little bit surreal. I'm I'm thrilled that it's finally going to be uh, out in the world and that people are going to get to see it and that we're here to celebrate it. It's a, it's a holiday show. It's, uh, uh, I think, um, very much in the tradition of, of classic holiday movies, the kinds that you watch every year, and I hope that people will be watching Hawkeye every year at the holidays. I, I love it. It's our first Disney Plus series starring an honest-to-goodness Avenger. It is, uh, it is our first red carpet event for one of our Disney Plus shows, and it's great because the truth is, and I hope people uh, who've seen the shows uh, agree with this and understand it, these are just as big as our movies. So much love and so much work and so much effort goes into them. Uh, everybody in front of the camera, behind the camera, so having, having something like this and a celebration of debuting the first two episodes is great, and all of these as big a crowd as I've seen recently here on Hollywood Boulevard, it's wonderful. You know, we'd never done it before. Uh, going back to Age of Ultron, we saw that Hawkeye had this family. He's the only Avengers with a family. And that felt, we felt like it gave us the opportunity to do a story during the holidays, focus on family. It's not necessarily about the end of the world. It's not necessarily about uh, somebody coming and blowing up the earth. It's about will Hawkeye make it home for Christmas and obviously introducing Kate Bishop and meeting a whole bunch of new characters who will continue, we hope, throughout the MCU. But really just enjoying something with your family on Disney Plus for the holidays between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And we've been working on this for a number of years and I'm so happy it's finally here. Well, you know, Matt Fraction uh, had an amazing comic run where he, where he uh, uh, paired Hawkeye and Kate Bishop. And we knew that we wanted to do that pairing and to bring Kate Bishop into the MCU. We had an ideal casting which was Haley Steinfeld. Like, wouldn't it be great if she is her or somebody like her? Well, let's see, let's see if she'd be interested in our world, we don't know, and thankfully she was. And she and she agreed to, to do this for us. And you just see in these first couple episodes the magic between the two of them. I even can't describe, excitement is huge. I feel like a teenager right now, you know? It's, I'm starting in every, in every way. Uh, that's a f one of the first interviews in English, actually, in, on American soil. This role is a, a first in the way premiere for me as well here on American soil. And uh, it's never too late to start in the way, right? So, uh, um, so yeah, I'm very excited. Oh, and it's wonderful. I mean, again, I, I, I sort of, I, I was aware of how seriously people take this and I myself was a fan, but um, you forget, or I, I guess I, I had an, an element of fear, I think, coming into this, that you want to live up to what what they expect. And um, But so far, you, you know, I've, I've also I've come to understand that there's a real love of just the MCU in general. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean, Clint is the, 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 
the family man. I mean, that's the sort of one of the defining aspects of his character um, as we've seen him um, through the MCU. And so, yeah, Christmas feels like this, the, the perfect um, the perfect time to, to meet him and, and to see him sort of, I think, at this time of peace. Um, it's also a heightened time of year. Everyone's emotions are always running high and there's sort of an enforced joy that's, that's supposed to be in the air. So that's the fun too, is, is kind of uh, watching that slowly get attacked and, uh, and, and interrupted for Clint. Yeah, this is great. I mean, it's sort of, you start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel from the whole pandemic. You know, seeing people around, the red carpet, all the fans behind. This is crazy. It's wonderful. It's great. I mean, just the whole, like, concept of the whole Marvel thing is just taken over, you know? I mean, with all the movies and everything, people really uh, sort of latched onto it. And I, I mean, it's wonderful. It's good that people are, you know, excited about projects and, you know, it's family oriented and it's around Christmas. So. I mean, it's just good fun, you know? I think that that's like a, an entire character by itself, just the fact that it's Christmas and it's family oriented, you know? I mean, it just, it makes it just sort of much more like cozy, you know? Like it makes, it makes things more important. Guy trying to get back to his family. It's an amazing night. I'm here to celebrate Haley. She kills it in the role. We're under a big, fat, full moon. It's an awesome night to celebrate. Oh, aren't we overdue for a really wonderful Christmas story? And this is it. This is it. Just in time for the holidays. It's like family and Christmas time. You know, it's the holidays, you know, and also New York story. A New York Christmas is nothing like a New York City Christmas. Oh my God, Hawkeye, K. Bishop. What a beautiful, what a beautiful duo. It's fun, it's Christmas, it's New York. Um, and we get to learn a little more about who he is and where he's been. Um, and we, we have a new character in our family, and so we're here to welcome her. There's, not only is it a family uh, theme, but also getting home for the holidays, which is something that we all strive for. Sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't. Um, Hawkeye has bigger uh, obstacles than we do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's the whole thing, right? Trying to get to the people you love in times um, that mark a moment, right? So whether it's Christmas, Thanksgiving, um, but yeah, it's a it's a family event. It's about where do you belong? Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.